What's up everyone? I wanted to do a review today of the Synchro 5 by Osprey and the review of the Synchro 12 also by Osprey. A few online reviews I've seen have shown mostly the Synchro 12, not too many showing the Synchro 5, so I wanted to give a small comparison on my first impressions and see uh, if this could be of any assistance to anybody else when they're trying to make a decision as I decided to purchase both of them and then return whichever one of the two seemed like the lesser fit for my personal needs. So to start off, let's go ahead and look at the Synchro 5. Uh, so it's five liters in capacity versus the larger bag. It is a biking bag by Osprey. Uh, many people online comment that this is something that is of high quality and compared to other bags will hold out for longer and if not they are backed by Osprey's guarantee which is quite handsome compared to some of the others out there. I believe it's a 100% guarantee for life uh, just excluding any physical damage that you may cause to it uh, on purpose. Outside of that, um, I really don't know too much about it, so I'm not going to speak much about that. Uh, but taking a look at the bag, I've chosen the gray with yellow or green, I believe they call it lime accents, so like a slate gray and a lime. It has this 600D material here, um, and other areas of the bag seem to be pretty durable. Um, on the back of the bag, you have the air speed, which is their system to put a frame behind it and put the mesh against your back. That way, in essence, it's creating an opening so that this bag is never flush against your back, at least with the part that would not breathe. Uh, so doing some of the best of ventilation and one of the main reasons why I bought these bags so I could have that. You can see the frame inside. Uh, it's a wire frame. And it does also have a brace, I believe, through the back as well. Uh, but that's underneath the padding there. But once again, you would never touch that to your back. Um, the mesh feels uh, durable. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. And this is tensioned quite well. So where when I'm pressing against it, it's it feels rigid. But maybe it gives enough to where it conforms to the bend of my back. But nothing much more than that. Um, everywhere on it has breathable mesh, uh, so here you see cuts inside the, the foaming, that way it can breathe through, as well as it being design fit for a mountain biker or bicyclist, um, and I'm sure also hikers could benefit as well. Uh, but again, I believe first design is built with a biker in mind. On the back of the backpack or whatever that you want to end up calling this it does have a mesh compartment area here and this could hold something say like a small garment or maybe some snacks uh, whatever else could fit inside there but you see my my fist could fit in there pretty easily and the buckle design it seems to be the same throughout the bag uh, but it works well enough has this little X pattern butterfly pattern on it uh, but pretty secure system and most of them have a, a nice fabric here so where you can tension that as needed go ahead and tighten that down um, this one being the smaller of the two has a limited number of pockets um, and areas to attach uh, one of the notable areas once again for a biker is so that they could go ahead and attach a bike backlight to this uh, so a rear light flashing red perhaps uh, the opening here on the bottom is for a rain cover uh, this one's more of a fluorescent green with reflective patterns on there of Osprey symbol. And then also on the back of that, it has a loop. Therefore, you can attach your bike light to it, even if it's raining um, and you're protecting your bag. So high visibility. This right here is a lid lock. This is to, designed to be used with your helmet. So that way you don't have to carry your helmet uh, when you're not on the bike. Uh, extremely beneficial. I have a bag for my motorcycle where I do the same thing in concept where I don't have to carry my motorcycle helmet. I've used it on multiple trips including to where I've gone through the airports carrying my helmet for motorcycle rides in other states. Uh, so something like this 
gives you that flexibility to be able to secure this to the back of the bag, not having to worry about carrying something or securing it to the bike. Um, and it's always on you and it's uh, pretty well fit. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it real quick. Uh, so it's tensioned by these bungees. This is gonna go through a top vent of a bicycle helmet. So I'll grab my helmet here. And then you would pull it through the vent in the top uh, which mine has a more or less a GoPro or a light mount area uh, but nonetheless it would be a vent and I just tug on this just slightly putting it through the hole in the bottom not too complicated pull that through it has good tension on it holds it secure on the bag things not going anywhere it doesn't jostle around so again it's going to be something easy to carry very uh, light uh, once again because it's not swaying it's not going to add any uh, feeling to the bag that's going to feel uncomfortable and make it seem as though it's heavier um, and you know multiple color designs so if your helmet looks a little bit different you can make it look like whatever uh, I have seen people put the front of their helmet inside this mesh area I don't see any purpose to it but otherwise great design again very secure not bouncing around in any sort of a way and when you're done with it, it's as simple as that. You go ahead and just release it. The bungee cord is inside the bag, so they've neatened that up. Uh, a little bit of tidying by design. You tug on it and it pulls a little bit more flush here. Uh, so going into those internal components, so this bike being the thinner of the two, uh, it does open up a little bit wider symmetrical wise compared to the next bag. So I'll show you that difference. Uh, but here it opens up enough so where you can put your hand into the bottom. Um, some of the bag's space is going to be taken up by that rain cover in the very bottom of the bag. Uh, but it has enough in there so where you can put a few maybe smaller items, maybe articles of clothing, snacks, so on. Uh, but in addition, your tools. Uh, so I've seen multiple videos where people are putting tire inner tubes, bike pump, uh, snacks once again and you can somewhat uh, get a little bit of space out of this but there's not going to be too much and there's no compression straps on this one to give you more space when you need it and less uh, by compression you do have a pocket right here that's also going to help you keep you organized and a key spot uh, so that way perhaps you can put your wallet maybe a phone inside here and your keys uh, keys if you did that would probably be separate from your phone don't want to get that scratched up uh, as you can see, hanging inside this particular main compartment area, you see this bag hanging down. And what this is, is the, the scratch resistant bag. So you can put something that's going to be perhaps a little more delicate uh, inside there. So I will demonstrate that next. Go ahead and seal this back up. Uh, and this does have a zipper cover going around it as well, perhaps keeping some of the dust out of the zipper compartment as well as maybe a little bit of uh, moisture deflection uh, but open this one up here that's where you have that protected pocket area I did bring one of my other phones so this is a Pixel 2 XL so a bit larger um, of a phone there's no way I could get that inside there uh, so perhaps not designed as much with a phone in mind whereas I am able to put my sunglasses in there. Uh, so something smaller in size. Uh, I wouldn't be concerned with a wallet because I'm not scared of uh, that getting scratched up, but my sunglasses can fit inside here. Uh, but it does hang inside that main compartment area, so if there are things that could potentially crush against it, that might be something of concern. On the top, you have a carry handle, uh, so that way you can pull it easily out of a uh, you know, vehicle or other areas or when you're setting it down, picking it right back up, nice and easy. Uh, this last zipper here is gonna house the bladder area, so for the actual hydration pack of the pack. Uh, so go ahead and open this up, and you can see inside here, there's really not much space or design for anything other than that bladder. I suppose if you were to remove the bladder, you could put something in there uh, rather instead but I, by design, it's definitely supposed to house that bladder. 
um, and everybody compliments the bladder design. I'm not going to take it out of this one, but it does have a bladder handle here so that you can carry it once you've pulled this off uh, and allowed yourself to open that bag up, making it much easier to put your liquid but also your ice cubes in there to keep it cool. Um, does have also a quick release uh, so you don't have to untube it from the bag and also noting for the bag you can run it right or left so it's ambidextrous in that capacity uh, so good design there I like it uh, this particular zipper does not have the fold over flap for the zippers uh, perhaps not as concerned with water runoff dripping into it because it's housing a, a water compartment area um, right here you have some load adjustments uh, so you can go ahead and put that on your shoulders and then adjust that as necessary uh, to carry that load better against your body. Uh, run the tube through here. Uh, you have a second spot to attach other items to it, top and bottom. So once again, designed uh, to give you flexibility of options. It is a magnetic coupling for that chest strap, that sternum strap. So great design there. I do see that these have little tiny hooks on them, so I hope that they don't wear over time. Uh, it does have a stretchy there, so that way as you tighten it up, it gives you a little bit of flexibility of movement, and once again, another area to run your, uh, your hose. And then on the end of the actual bite valve, you have also another magnetic coupling, so that way it holds it in place, the hose is not dangling all over the place. As far as this is concerned, it is a bite valve. Um, mine is brand new, so it's never been used. It has plastics over it, uh, but also multiple videos online showing where you can disassemble this and it is easy to clean, so that way you can prevent from mildew and other buildup in there. So you can keep this much cleaner than some of the others uh, competitor models. So this is the Synchro 5 and it is designed to be lightweight, very ventilated, framed, uh, so easy to carry for load wise, and once again, adding to that ventilation by allowing you to see that space between your pack and your back. Uh, so great in design there. And then let's go ahead and flip this over to the Synchro 12.